The COVID-19 outbreak is getting worse here in Minnesota. More than 5,400 new cases of the virus were reported here yesterday. That's the fourth day in a row of record cases in the state, and there were 36 new deaths. That's also a daily record. Here's a look at how things have taken off since all this started eight months ago. You can see the big increase in cases over the last few weeks through the end of October. Katie Steiner is here with what you need to know about our numbers and testing. Hi, Katie. Hey, Jennifer. And well, not only did we see single day records for positive cases and deaths, we also saw a third daily record, and that was for how many people were getting tested. 38,000 people got a test, and the state wants to do even more. So that's why the Minnesota Department of Health continues to offer free COVID-19 testing all around the state. They're focusing on areas with outbreaks, increasing cases, or areas where residents might have trouble accessing tests. So the state is offering both nasal swab testing and saliva tests in the coming days. If you want to get tested, you can do a nasal test this weekend. And here are two of the locations for testing today. The first one is in Minneapolis at the Hennepin United Methodist. That's happening from 12 to 3. The second location is in Maplewood at Aldrich Ice Arena. Testing there's a little bit longer. You can go from noon until 5. You can and should try to schedule an appointment online before you actually go to those spots. There's also testing tomorrow in Burnsville at the Church of the Risen Savior and also at the Stillwater Armory. Both of those are going to go from noon until six o'clock. And coming up at 8 30, I'll let you know what state health officials are saying about the question on everybody's minds. Will the Minnesota state turn back the dial and re-implement more COVID-19 restrictions? That's coming up at 8 30, Jennifer. All right, some good information there, Katie. See you in the next half hour.